Hello and welcome to Unit 14, Lesson 3, Resizing, Rotating, and Cropping. My name is Dina, and here I will be teaching you about how to resize, or scale and crop, your images and video clips. Now that you have a rough draft, it is time to fine tune and adjust all the details to get your video looking as good as it can be. Resizing can help you make your video clearer, help highlight the right things, and give you more creative control over your video. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First, let's go through a brief explanation of what resizing, rotating, and cropping means. Resizing, or scaling, means to make the image larger or smaller. It changes the actual size of your whole clip, but keeps the same aspect ratio and dimensions. Rotating means to turn your image around from a center point. You can rotate it completely in a circle all the way up to 360 degrees. Although, I guess there would be no point in doing that since it would just make the image look the same as the original. A useful application for the rotate tool is when you accidentally film footage in the wrong way. For example, personally, when I film with a cell phone, sometimes I mean for it to be horizontal, but the camera actually stays vertical. So, when I import it into the computer, it looks vertical. This would be a good place to use the rotate tool and turn it 90 degrees to make it look horizontal again, like it's meant to be. Cropping can change the dimensions of your image completely. Cropping, like trimming video clips earlier, can take off the outer edges of your image. So this, of course, can help to cut out unwanted things, like if you accidentally filmed a part of a person who is not supposed to be on screen, or just anything else that was not planned. However, this will change your aspect ratio and dimensions. Therefore, if you have cropped something, you may need to then resize it for it to fit your project's aspect ratio. Let's go look at some examples in Vegas. The most accessible tool in Vegas that allows you to do all this, the Event Pan Crop tool, is opposite of what you might expect. At least, it was for me when I first saw it. To access this tool, go to the upper right corner of any clip and click on this icon here. It will open a window and you can see the tab on top that says pan slash crop. There's a bunch of tabs on the left side too, and we will be looking at position and rotation here. You can toggle these properties by clicking on the gear icon on the top. Okay, so now you see a dotted rectangle with an F written inside and a circle around all of it. You can zoom in and out by scrolling up and down with your mouse but that only changes your view and does not affect your actual image. That dotted rectangle is your final image, basically. So to resize, it works just like resizing regular windows. You just go to one of the corners here, and when your cursor turns into this diagonal double arrow, you can click and drag it. So if you drag it out, the frame becomes larger and in turn, your image becomes smaller. And of course, the opposite. If you make the frame smaller, you zoom into your image. You rotate with the same tool as well. So if you notice your cursor becomes the circular arrow, you can then rotate it however you like. You can tell the orientation of the screen by paying attention to the F in the middle. Lastly, if you move your cursor anywhere around the middle of the frame, it becomes the four directional arrow, which means you can move the frame freely. Your keyboard arrow keys will also work to make small adjustments in any direction. If you look at the properties I mentioned earlier while resizing or rotating, you will notice the numbers changing. Those numbers represent the exact location of everything 
so they are very helpful when you need consistency across multiple clips or just to be precise. The rotation angle works in 360 degrees like a circle as we mentioned before. For position, width and height are the size of your outer frame. X center and Y center are the actual positions. Remember in math, when you plot graphs on an XY axis? Yeah, this is that. You can never escape math. Typically, a larger X number means that the frame has moved to the right, smaller X to the left, etc. You get the idea. So, if I wanted to crop out the edges of this clip while keeping the aspect ratio, I can just size down this whole frame here, move it over, and that's it. This whole time, I recommend keeping the preview window visible so you can easily see what your changes look like and adjust accordingly. When you're done, just close the window and make sure to save your project. You will notice that the icon has now changed and looks like a little document has been added to the bottom right corner. That lets you know that there have been changes made to that setting and just makes it easy to see where you have made edits or not. Now, you may have noticed an issue here. What if you want to crop your image, but also make it smaller and move it to a corner so it doesn't cover the whole frame? There's actually another specific crop tool inside of Vegas as well, but this one is hidden under the Effects tab. By the way, if you didn't know, FX is just short for effects. They sound similar when you say them out loud. Anyways, go to the FX icon right next to the Pan Crop tool, and a window with lots of things will open up. We will get more into special effects in Unit 16, so for now, we are only looking at the Crop tool. Go to the folder OFX and find Vegas Crop. You can double click it to add it, or also go over to the right, select Add, and then hit OK. Now this tool can crop your image without moving the frame, like in Event Crop. All the things like angle, X and Y are there, and you can use the sliders or input exact numbers to crop your image. The anchor point option dictates where the X and Y crop will start. So play around with it to get your desired effect. Once you're done, just close the window and save. You'll notice the X in FX has now changed to that little document icon too to indicate you have made changes. All right, that is how to resize, rotate, and crop. There are more things you can do with the event crop tool, like animations, but we won't get into that until much later in Unit 16. For now, we're close to finishing our basic edit. Next, we will look at some other easily adjustable controls to round out this unit, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye!